you got to recognize on this commission is that we're uh, voted in by district, and each district has some specific needs. So someone in District 7 on the west side may not see the need that's down in East Boundary in the bottom. They may never get on the court, but that does not mean we should stop fighting for what's necessary in the bottom. That's how that goes. So if someone wants to see that as being discord, someone has to fight for the least of these. And someone has to fight for the entire city. As mayor, though, the mayor is responsible to the entire city. So you have to have the skill sets necessary to be able to communicate effectively with real dialogue in order to get things done. I've done that for 27 years in the federal government. I've been awarded for that for six straight years. This last six years that I've been at Fort Gordon as a civilian for doing just that and bringing that type of leadership to the table. It is very, very important for the mayor to understand what the mayor's responsibilities are. And it's important for the mayor to understand Robert's rules of order, which governs the way a meeting should be ran. If the mayor doesn't understand it clearly, there's good commissioners who do that can use that against the mayor, and you'll see certain things that go on. But if the mayor understands very clearly what his or her responsibilities are, the mayor will be in control of that meeting, not because he says he or she says so, but because they have inherent and implied authority as it relates to the charter. So in, under, to, in order to understand how to be an effective player, you've got to know the rules of the game. Alvin Mason knows the rules of the game. I've already done it for two years as mayor pro tem, and I've seen it for seven years. Thank you. You do that through diplomacy. You do that through understanding how government works. You do that not only through how government works, but by setting priorities that everyone not only can embrace, but what everyone can be a part of collectively. For the last seven years, I have been a member of a minority party in the General Assembly. Never did I complain and say I couldn't get anything done because we were outnumbered. But too often, that's what happens from a local government standpoint. When everyone understands that their role is that of policymakers, then it becomes easy for the mayor to begin setting the tone for the direction of the city and through the general budgeting process, provide opportunity for every commissioner who represents a single district and then the two super districts to come to the table and express what are the inherent needs in each of the individual districts because it is a true statement. What District 7 needs, what District 3 needs, is quite different than what East Augusta needs. East Augusta for the last seven years has needed their ditches, their drainage, and their sewers taken care of, and it has not happened. They're all good people. They all love this city. They're all represented in districts in this community. Now, our government, the way it's structured, it almost forces them to have to pit themselves against each other. District one is being voted by in by the people who live in District one. But at the same time, we all can be able to work together, and that's one of the things that I do best. I'm a relationship builder. So one of the things that I plan on doing is. Get in the vehicle of each one of the county commissioners in their vehicle and ride through their district. Have my notepad, ask them questions about the challenges, the opportunities in that district, hearing it from them. And while we're doing that, I'm with them, we're building a relationship, building a rapport. And then I'm going to do that with each one of the commissioners. After it's all done, just like the pieces of a puzzle, you look at the, the top of a puzzle, the box of a puzzle, the picture is really nice and pretty, and then all the pieces, if you dump them out, is a mess. Well, when you put all those pieces of the puzzle together, you've got a really nice work of art. So building that relationship with all of the commissioners, that's going to be one of the first things that I would do. And that way, if you're building a relationship, now you've got trust. Now you've got respect between each other, and now you can be able to get the job done and put together a budget that can at least break even, not just a budget that at the end of the year, oh, we're going to go into our savings um, fund, which is depleting every year. We can't operate like that. So that's what I would do as a county, as the new mayor, working with the county commissioners. Fish in basketball, coaching football, Announcing games and all of the business and being 
involved with the community, being involved with the church, being involved and understanding the pain that we go through each and every day and trying to get folks to understand what the city is going through. I want to just tell you, leave with this, what the preacher told me Sunday. And he said, the poor will always be with you. And, and, I, and I'm poor, and we need to be together. All right. And it's been a pleasure to serve as your commissioner for the last seven years. Um, just to know where I've come from, uh, just to have my name in the number, uh, society said it wouldn't happen. So I'm proud, we're not monolithic people, so we have differences of opinion, and that's good. We can have spirit here today, I like that. Because as much as I like myself, I don't want 10 clones or 100 clones of Alvin Mason sitting up on the commission or the mayor so we need a comprehensive view of how things go. But I'm not ashamed of anything uh, that I've done in terms of my representation in this community or the, my style of doing so. And I will continue that, and I've been very, very successful in that way, and I've helped a lot of people in that manner. So I will tell you this. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you'd like to win but think you can't, it's almost a sense you won't. If you think you lose, you've lost. For out in the world we find, success being with a fellow's will, it's all in the state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high in order to rise. You've got to be very sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. See, life battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. But sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. I think I can. Thank you. I think you need to give yourselves a big round of applause. <laughs> um, each of us has a resume. Okay, you're going to have to choose. The election is on May the 20th. Um, early voting starts on April 28th. Okay, I mean that's just just a short 53 days from today. The election. Um, we're all applying for the same job. I have very good intention of working with all people. That's what I do, that's what I've been doing for the past 22 years. I don't care if you're black, white, I don't care if you're Democrat, in, in, independent, Republican, pink party, purple party. We're all in this together. People with disabilities, faith-based, military, media, everyone in between, I plan on working with everybody so that we can make Augusta the best that it can be. I want to thank you so much for being here tonight and I would be honored to serve as your next mayor of Augusta, Richmond County. Again, I want to say thank you for allowing us to be here tonight. You've given up your precious time. And I want to share this final thought. I was a voter most likely to succeed. I was a voter most athletic. I was a voter the prettiest guy in my high school class that helped to go to high school. But what I was voted was most dependable. If you give me the opportunity to serve you as your mayor, I will be dependable. I will show up to work every day. I will answer the call when you call me. I will try to solve the big problems of our community with the help of 10 other individuals because I cannot do it alone. We cannot do it alone. But what we can do is move beyond the things that divide us. We can move beyond the notion of black versus white. We can move beyond the notion of white on the west side versus white on the south side. We can move beyond the notion of East Augusta versus everybody else, and we can be one Augusta. An Augusta that we're all proud of. An Augusta that provides opportunity for you, for your children and your children's children. That's the Augusta that we're so desperately seeking. A government that works for all of its citizens. A government that provides opportunity for all of us in this room. And if you give me that opportunity, what I promise and pledge to you is that I will be dependable. I will answer your call. And I will listen to you. Thank you. God bless you.